You are warmly welcomed on SLTV Love. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SRTV Lab. As you can see, I would like to show you bones that we call leaves. They are the bones that form the thorax. The thorax is one part of the trunk. It's upper part of the trunk called thorax or we'll make it simple we say the chest good now stick on this video from the beginning up to the end you are going to know what are those bones that form the chest of a human being good let's start the human being has 24 ribs those 24 ribs are in pairs which means they are 12 ribs in one side and 12 ribs on the other side. And the ribs normally, they form what you call thoracic cage. Thoracic cage. That is the cage that protects all organs that are found internally within the chest and some of the abdominal organs. Then we are going to see part of the ribs. There are some ribs called true ribs and the other ribs are called false ribs. And we are going also to see what we call floating ribs. I hope you are going to know more about the ribs. Good. First of all, in general, we say the rib come I mean some of the ribs comes and uh, get attached to the sternum and all the ribs they go ex posteriorly and uh, get attached to the vertebral column good as you can see external or posterior here not externally these are the vertebrae of the vertebral column so the ribs some of the ribs we are going to see those ribs are attached to the sternum anteriorly and all the ribs i mean all 24 ribs are attached to the vertebral column good i've been saying that some of the ribs are attached to the sternum those ribs directly attached to the sternum are called true ribs. And those ribs are seven in number. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven ribs are named true ribs. Now, they are attached to the sternum with what we call costal cartridge. These are the costal cartridges. Do you get it? The first seven ribs I have said, those are called true ribs because they are directly attached to the sternum. True ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've told you these are the costal cartridges. And this is the sternum as well. And uh, here, inferior to the sternum, we see what we call cephoid process. Don't ever forget this. This is called cephoid process. Good. We have seen the first true ribs. I've told you they are seven in number. Now, below the true ribs, we have first leaves. First leaves are three in a number. They are three in number. Seven is just up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now below it, one, two, three. These three leaves, I mean this one, one, two, three, these are named first leaves. Let me come to them. One, two, three. 
these are false lips okay good it's very clear one two three these are false lips they are not directly attached to the sternum that is why they are called false lips let me be back to them these false lips okay good these false lips i mean three false lips one two three they are attached to the just to the cartridge or coastal cartridge only the coastal cartridge comes and get attached to the coastal cartridge of the seventh rib do you get it now we have seen 10 lips and out of those 10 lips seven are true lips and three are false lips now we have seen 10 and as you know i mean 10 when i say 10 10 on one side and there are 10 on the other side which means there are 20 and we have seen that the whole lip cage is formed of how many bones or how many lips we have said it is formed by 24 ribs which means we are remaining with other four ribs two on the left and two on the right now what are those lips first of all they are named floating lips floating lips so they are no longer connected to any coastal cartridges or to the sternum let me show them to you and those lips are inferior to all the other ribs good clearly here oh let me show you okay good it's very clear now these are the floating lips you see they are neither attached to the coastal cartridges or attached to the sternum so these are the floating lips i hope you re remember this very easily the three inferior lips are called floating lips the next three lips are the false lips and the other seven lips are called true lips remember i have told you that the ribs actually goes posteriorly and get attached to the vertebral column here you can see clearly good now let's look at the first seven ribs one, one, one two three five six seven and we'll look at others in the next video now when they reach posteriorly i mean the ribs what do they articulate with we are seeing the vertebrae the bones of the vertebral column and the vertebral column has let me say first seven what we call seven cervical vertebrae one two three four five six seven these are seven cervical vertebrae and then we have thoracic uh, 12 thoracic vertebrae now i would like to to tell you the vertebrae that articulate with the ribs i have said the first seven ribs true ribs now the first lip or rib one it comes and articulate with the first thoracic vertebrae on t1 i think it's very clear okay good it's easy to see here good i have told you that the first lip articulate with the first thoracic vertebrae or t1 good first lip articulate with the first thoracic vertebrae the second lip as well articulate with the second thoracic vertebrae and so on the third rib articulate with the third thoracic vertebrae the fourth rib articulate with the fourth thoracic vertebrae 
the fifth rib at the crate with the fifth thoracic vertebrae, the sixth and the seventh. Which part of the thoracic vertebrae? Here we are seeing the, the spinous process and the transverse process. We are seeing the transverse process, but the ribs continue internally. We will see the articulation between the ribs and the vertebrae next time. The articulation, the joint between the two bones. Do you get it? Good. I hope you have seen clearly the ribs and where the first seven ribs go and articulate with the vertebral column. The corresponding what? The corresponding vertebrae. You have no, I mean, you have seen what we call true ribs, false ribs, and uh, floating ribs. Thank you. We're gonna see each other in another video next time. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you abundantly. Please support this channel by pressing like, subscribe and the bell. This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you.